Morning. It's another wet day, isn't it? It's another wet, miserable, rainy old day today. I came outside just to think, is there going to be any sunshine? Is there going to be any sunshine at all? But no, the clouds are all over the place. Just one thick layer of what looks like cotton wool. Somebody's been up there and just rolled out the old loft insulation. And there it is, right above us, and the sun not trying to, uh, not able to get through. And it is really getting on my nerves i can tell you and it's wet it's miserable it's cold and it's april we're nearly in may now in 2020 i remember in march a month earlier being locked down in my house and uh, unable to go outside unable to do anything and the sun was shining down brightly now i know that year after year the weather fluctuates in the past but this year of course they are at it in the skies and you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the geoengineering before we go any further however i just want to promote an event that i'm talking at you may be interested in popping along you may have never heard of this Um, i've never heard of it until i was asked to attend and this is the alternative view 14 riding the wave which is on the 26th of may 2024 a whole load of different speakers um, as you can see there, we've got uh, Richard Vobes, I don't know who he is, Wendy Stacy, Ian Simpson, Lucy Wyatt and, and many others. Um, and you can come along, you can stay at this wonderful hotel. Uh, there's some bald bloke, uh, there's a, a lady there, there's a chap and, and uh, you know, people I have yet to meet actually talking about, oh, I've met him. He's been on the show before now. Um, So you may want to come along and have a look at that. I just thought I'd share that for you. I'll put a link in the description so you can find out what it's all about. Alternative view. We need an alternative view. At the moment, the view that we're getting at the moment is this white cloud in the sky continually just blocking out the sun. And what is going on? Is this man-made global warming, is it? Well, it is man-made. It is man-made by people from the deep state, it seems, who have infiltrated the governments across the world and saying, we are going to block out the sun. And yet we have the irony that we're being told that we need to have electricity and so therefore we've got solar panels and they're being built all over the farmland, which is very important for growing food. But no, 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 we're going to put solar panels in there and then we're going to block out the sun and you don't believe me? Well, it's on the government's website. They tell you exactly what they're doing. Here we go. This is the UK government's uh, website, the Department for Business, Energy and Indus- Industrial Industrial even Strategy. The UK government's view on greenhouse gas removal, technologies and solar radiation management. I'll leave a link in the description and you can have a look at that. It says here the GGR... Um, is this is the greenhouse gas removal nonsense actively remote uh, remove greenhouse gas from the atmosphere oh yeah this is part of what they're trying to do they're trying to block the atmosphere why are they needed well it says in order to deliver the commitment the uk made by signing the paris agreement the uk has legislated for a net zero emissions target by 2050 Our independent advisers, the Committee on Climate Change, have made it clear that GGRs will be essential to realising this target to offset remaining emissions and in the sectors where it is most difficult to cut them. And it goes on and on and on about how it's going to do. Of course, if we go and have a look in uh, the Gulf, we will see the unusual images of the flooding that's happened out over there. And people have noticed that there's been so much rain. Look at this, almost all of that. What is causing that there? It's causing it everywhere, isn't it? Look at all these these pictures of floods and things where they very rarely get any water in the Middle East, in the Gulf area. And we know it is, of course, these bloody chemtrails. Chemtrails are everywhere. Everyone is talking about them. You recognise these sort of pictures in the skies. They are all over the place. Look, that is a classic picture, that one there. I want to see if I can open that in a in another image there it is look at that that to me is a, is your classic image and if you're not seeing that sort of stuff in the sky well you're not looking up because it is there it is absolutely there and why 
Why? Apart from, oh, we're trying to get rid of the CO2 because CO2, you know, the gas of life, the thing that actually keeps us alive and helps plant grow, they want to get rid of. And why do they want to get rid of that? Because of the great famine they're planning. Seems to me that this is what all this is about. Apparently farmers up and down the land have had their fields decimated because they can't get the, either they can't get drilling and plant the seed or the stuff that they put in in the winter has been flooded and is wrecked or things are going to be late. So stock up, stock up with food because you may find there is nothing on the supermarket or the stuff that is on the supermarkets. And by the way, I wouldn't recommend going to the supermarket at all because the food is nutrient poor. And who knows what other preservatives and chemicals and synthetic nonsense is in there. But soon, probably, you'll just pick up these pummets of wriggling worms and you'll be told that's what you've got to eat because we haven't got any real food left because the Great Famine has been uh, started, being seeded in the skies day after day after day. You know, we I think it's almost as if there's a like a little grid somewhere and they're going, oh, we'll have rain, 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 one day of sun, rain, 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 one day of sun, rain, 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 one day of sun. Uh, it's almost as if, you know, they think that we won't notice. Well, we do notice. We know what you're doing. You're saying it on the websites. People are aware. People are beginning to wake up to all the great harms that have been happening. You can't hide the bodies. People are dropping down dead all over the place from mysterious things, an increase in uh, a certain disease that uh, begins with the letter C, that if we mention it, of course, in association with certain medical interventions, we know that there'll be a great Damocles sword going... <laughs> from YouTube to hack us off and say you can't say these things. But we know it's happening. We are awake to this, and more and more people are waking up left, right and centre. Stop mucking about with our blooming weather. You, the thing is, the people who are doing this do not seem to conceive that actually they are also going to be the ones that will be suffering. OK, the people at the upper echelons who are planning all of this, yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be on their Mediterranean island or somewhere in a subterranean bunker or the other side of the uh, Antarctic wall, whatever it is, or on another planet or wherever, or would have got all the best food, all the farms all paid for, whatever that is. They'll be fine. That's grand. Lovely. But the rest of those, the rest of the people, the henchmen, the people who are being leaned on, the people who are being employed to spray this stuff, the people who are being hushed up, the people who are putting up the 5G towers, the people who are inf putting the infrastructure and uh, may or may not know what's going on, they're going to be affected too. They're going to be affected. They are building the prison. They are making the famine. They are causing the chaos. It's time to stop. Look up and smell the coffee. Uh, are you not seeing it? Are you not smelling the graphene and all the other dis the metals that they're seeding into the sky? They're doing it. It's all over the place. It's got to stop. Tell your neighbours. So I, I think we should be getting in touch with the MPs up and down the country. Not that it's going to make the blind bit of difference. I appreciate that. But we should be sending out messages to everyone. Get these photos of the, uh, of the skies. All these sort of pictures that we've just been looking at here, all these pictures, get these pictures out to people, show them, look up at the sky, tell them, look up what's going on with our skies, send the pictures to the MPs and tell them, stop mucking about with our skies. We don't want this anymore. We know what's going on. We know what you're up to. We don't want it. Stop it. I think we've just got to bombard. We've got to make people aware that we know exactly what's going on. Otherwise, we're going to find ourselves in great difficulty as the great famine, the harsh famine. And people won't, they just won't do anything until there's no food on the supermarket, which is why I, I, I keep going on about food and food security and talking about it. It's the thing, you know, you look at my numbers, look at my numbers. If you start talking about food and scarcity and that people aren't interested growing food no 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 because they think that in the supermarket there'll always be something we have been so brainwashed into thinking that food the most important thing not sitting on a computer doing this all day long um not doing other things and sort of trying to accru accrue great wealth that food in and of itself the most important thing with clean fresh 
uh, con- um, <clears throat> what do they call it, uh, structured water are the most important things. Talk about that, though, all the views go down. Nobody's interested because they just think it's always going to be there. Well, if they're spraying the skies with all sorts of crap, which is lowering our vibrations and preventing plants from growing, it won't be there. And when you finally wake up to what's going on, it'll be too bloody late. Don't say we didn't warn you. So send these pictures, send them to all your MPs, send them to your friends, send them to everybody. Say, look up. What is happening with our skies? The only way we can stop this is by by getting everybody aware of it. Everybody. And it's so bleeding obvious and nobody should be able to miss it because they're doing this, this, this and this and then a few hours later, cotton wool.